that car that you thought was 90,000 after you done owning it is actually $252,000. Cool Rich here back with another video. As you guys can see the title, today I'm gonna to be telling you guys how you're actually paying more for your car. And the example is gonna be on the jailbreak. This is my 392. I just I just pulled over to get this cool little scenery, man. Like this, this is a real dope. We yeah, outside. But yeah, make sure you guys like this video, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel. So yeah, let's go to my computer. Actually paying more for your car. Um, yeah, so I'm about to get straight to it. So I got some quick math here, man. So you guys can see this is a 2022 uh, jailbreak. And I optioned it out how you would want it to get it optioned out if you want to keep your value. Because if you go ahead and add like, for example, like the fucking spoiler, that's a thousand dollars extra. If you go ahead and it the harmony car, then that's another two thousand dollars extra. You know, things like that don't really matter when you're trying to sell the car because people just want the car. And if the car looks pretty, looks good, you know what I mean? You go get it like wrapped for half the price, people are gonna pay that price. But if you go ahead, as you can see, like this net price is ninety thousand. But if you option everything out right here that I I just mentioned, bro, it's probably gonna come up to a hundred thousand before taxes, before anything. So let me scroll all the way down to the calculator that they offer here. Um right here, finance estimate. So this does include uh, let me see. Okay, so they got a cash retail. So you actually get a discount. So does this include taxes and registration? No, I don't I don't believe so. If I'm not mistaken, yeah, I don't believe so. So um let's go. As you guys can see the price right here is ninety thousand three hundred seventy four. We all know that's not the price you're actually walking out the door with if you know anything about cars. So with taxes registration, I live in the state of Minnesota and the percentage here is six point three percent. So where's my calculator at? 6.3%. So 6.3% of 90,000 um, with plates, everything. I did the math. It's going to be 5,796 plus 90,374. So that's 96,170. Now, when you finance a car like this, bro. You go to your bank or whatever. I don't care if you got amazing credit back. Well, if you got bad credit, you should not even be looking at this car. You know what I mean? Like, come on, man. But if you got excellent credit, for example, let me pull it up. They actually do the calculations for you. That's that's why I fuck with Dodge. Um, so let me see. And I bring it up for some reason. Hmm. But yeah, even if you got okay, let me see. I'm, yeah, I'm not seeing it. Anyways, even if you got like really good credit. You probably gonna qualify for like five percent. So this is for people to qualify for five percent interest rate. Which if you got like a seven hundred, uh, seven hundred twenty and above, I believe, or seven forty and above, you should get like five percent, which is it's decent. It's not the best, but let's say you get five percent. So the calculation I have right here, five percent of ninety six thousand one hundred seventy dollars is four thousand eight hundred seventy eight. So forty eight seventy eight. So now this is your out the door price, 101.48 for a ninety thousand dollar car. Um, now you're not done there yet, you know what I mean? Because once you drive off the lot, you gotta put insurance. Now my age, I'm 21, right? Let me write down this number for y'all real quick, man, because y'all think I'll be bullshitting. So I'm 21. Insurance for this, if I get added to my parents, probably gonna be 400 a month. You're gonna have the car for 72 months, so that's 400 times 72. Now we're at 28,800. Now, I also wrote that down. The gas for this car, you're probably gonna pay like, for me and how I drive, especially with the gas prices right now, god damn, man. Them prices are over a thousand. I mean, I'm probably spending over a thousand dollars a month, especially that it's the summertime, so I'm gonna put a thousand dollars a month. You know what I mean? So this really depends how much you drive in your car. But if I'm paying a hundred thousand dollars for a car, I'm driving that bitch every day. I'm enjoying every penny of it. So a thousand dollars a day, um, no, a month, right? 
times uh, 72 months. Let me see if I'm doing that right. Yeah, 72. So now you have 72,000, bro. For uh, 72 months, I believe is six years or something like that. So $72,000 in six years. So now you go add that plus the $28,800, which was your, um, what was the 28 for? I, I forgot, but that was for your insurance. And that's if you get added to your parents' insurance, you know what I mean? But if you're old enough, you probably could get it cheaper. But for motherfuckers like me, I'm a young teenager, you know what I'm, paying, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I was trying to get my own insurance, this would actually be more than 400. It would be like more of 800, you know what I mean? So that's that. Now, you want to add the 101,048. Yeah, 101,648. Which is the price for the car. So now you're looking at $202,000. And this is not including, let's say you go to burn your tires, this and this, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, so really like burning your tires, fucking expenses coming up. Cause this is a Dodge after all, like I got a scat pack and trust me, I've spent way too much money on it. You know, I got like 48,000 miles. I actually got a video on that coming up soon. And I've spent like seven grand on it with no warranty because the car is more than three years old. It's a 2018. Anyways, so we probably gonna say you probably gonna spend like 50,000 in them six years that you're gonna have the car. So now that car, that you thought was 90,000 after you done owning it is actually $252,000. Now, this car is probably gonna have like 80 to 100,000 miles. And since they're not making Hellcats no more, you could probably sell the same car for like maybe 50, 50,000, 60,000, who knows. But you tell me if it's worth it, you know what I'm saying? So I just hope that this math made sense for y'all. Um, I mean, shit, if you put this money into like crypto houses, like you could probably turn this into a lot more than fucking 50, 60,000 dollars after you pay off your loan and everything, you know what I mean? So that's just some considerations for y'all, man. Like I know, I know y'all niggas be young out here, y'all be trying to stunt all type of stuff but this is the reality this is how much you're actually paying this is the real cost you know what i mean i'll be making another video here soon so i'll catch you another one man make sure you like comment subscribe and i'm out